Welcome to a fall edition of Timber Tuesday. Hi there, my name is Sandra and you're watching The Chauvin's Nest. Today's video is sponsored by Magicfly. You can find their products on Amazon. They sent me a few different things. I'm going to show them to you right now and then I'm going to incorporate them into my projects for today. Then I'll let you know my honest opinion about what I think of these products and I'll have some links down in my description box for you. These are 14 bottles of acrylic paint. They're nine and a half ounces and they're high quality, light, fast pigments, which means that they won't fade over time. They are ideal for canvas painting. They're safe and non-toxic. They dry really quick and they're richly pigmented, which means that there's tons of color in them. The second product that they sent me is a hot glue gun. I love that it has a zippered case because as you guys know, I travel to and from my cottage and I tend to do some crafting there. So this will protect it from getting damaged. It has a nice ergonomic handle. I love the color of it. It's sort of like a nice turquoise blue. So it's really pretty and that makes me happy. The ergonomic handle is a little bit big. I did find it a little chunky to start with, but once I got used to it, it was perfect. It has a lower temp and a high temp. So you've got a 60 watt and a 100 watt and you've got an off button. That's another thing that I really love about glue guns that you can turn them off and you don't always have to be constantly unplugging them. It comes with some finger protectors and then it also has a silicone pad that you can rest it on and it has a little kickstand and it came with some glue sticks. The last thing that I got is super fun. They sent me a box of Scrabble tiles. Not 10, not 20, a thousand Scrabble tiles. They're packaged each in a set for the game. And on the back, it tells you how many letters you get in each packet. These are going to be so much fun to add to my projects. Let's get started. I'm starting off my first project with these wood cutout pumpkins. And I'm using the orange. Now, it does come on more like a stain with the wood, which is something that I actually like. I love being able to see the wood get grain through. However, if you wanted it to have a much more opaque color, which means that it's nice and thick and the color is very vibrant, you would definitely need to do at least two or three coats. I'm going to be using the dark green on the leaves of the pumpkins and with the darker colors, usually one coat will do the trick. It really depends on the look you're going for. I like a little bit of the wood showing through, so one coat was sufficient. Next, I used a really small stiff brush and just dipped it into the burnt sienna color. And this I'm just going to be dragging downwards across each of the pumpkin just to give it more of a distressed look. And this turned out really nice. This burnt sienna color is beautiful. Now it's time to use the Magic Fly hot glue gun. I've got it plugged in, I've attached the kickstand, and I didn't give it enough time to warm up. So I was a little impatient. And so what you have to do is give it at least two to three minutes to warm up, and then give it some good pumps with the handle to make sure that the glue is actually going through the melting section and then will come out. As I said earlier, I thought the handle was a little bit big, but once I used it more often, I got used to it and now I don't find it's big at all. It works out really well for me. These pumpkins are ones that are part of a new wood craft kit for fall. So if you're interested in this, check it out on my Etsy shop and there'll be a link for that in my description box too. I'm gluing this project onto an old piece of fence board, which I did take the Magic Fly acrylic paint in white, and I just gave it a few dry brush coats. I wanted to have some of the wood grain still peeking through again, and I wanted it to look really rustic. Now I'm just taking the Scrabble letters, and I have spelled out thankful, grateful, and blessed, and I'm going to figure them out and see if I can make them look like they would on a Scrabble board. Once I had it all set up, then I took them all off again, and now I'm going to use the Magic Fly Hot Glue Gun to glue them all into place. My favorite part of 
crafting is once I have the base done is just adding all of the little embellishments. This takes me a while to do because I like to take my time and think about how I want things to look. I'm starting off by adding this little birch piece of wood. These come from the Dollar Tree in a pack and I'm going to just glue that to the top of the sign and make it look like a pumpkin as well. Next I'm going to take three different types of twine and ribbon and make some bows and then just layer them on top of each other. If you'd like a slowed down version of how I make my two finger double loop bows, there will be a link down in my description box. For the chunky twine bow, I'm just going to take some of the regular twine that you can get from the Dollar Tree and wrap it around my fingers, I think probably about six or seven times. Then I'm going to take another piece of twine and I'm going to tie it off in the center and that will give me a bunch of loops for this bow. I'll have a whole bunch of tails hanging down too. I added some Spanish moss to the stem at the bottom using hot glue to keep it in place. Then I'll add my three bows and just layer them a little bit sort of on an angle off to the side because the thankful word is way up at the top and I don't want to hide it. I also added some Spanish moss at the very bottom of the sign under the largest pumpkin, added a little bit in between and then a few little wired sprigs to look like the pumpkin vines. I loved creating this project and I think it turned out really sweet. You'll have to let me know what you think. I've got these two chunky wood blocks that I'm going to use the Magic Fly acrylic paint in bright orange. I'm going to give them just one coat because again, I love the rustic look and I want some of that wood to peek through. However, if you would like them to be a solid orange, by all means, you can put on two to three coats to get a more vibrant color. While I wait for those faux pumpkins to dry, I'm going to work on these two hearts from the Dollar Tree. They're just that chipboard. I'm going to take off the letters and the little piece of burlap that's on there as well. Leave them nice and smooth for my next step. I didn't want the hearts to be the regular shape. So I'm taking my miter shears and I'm just going to make a snip at the bottom and then I'm going to turn it around and do another snip at the top and then just do a little portion on the other side. You can see the one heart that's already laying down on the paper there. That's sort of the shape I'm going for. I just wanted it to be more of a primitive or funky looking heart rather than a perfect one. These miter shears are the perfect tool to use on all of this MDF from the dollar stores. It cuts through them like butter. So if you're interested in checking these out, I have a link to my Amazon store and I think I've got a few different types there for you. I'm going to be using these hearts as tags on some block pumpkins that I'm going to show you in a moment. And I'm using the Magic Fly white acrylic paint. I'm going in about half an inch and this is gonna need almost three coats to be able to get a really nice white look to it. I don't mind if some of the wood color is showing through because I'm going to be sanding that down anyway, but I did want it to be a nice bright white. Here I've got some mini wood cutout. These also came from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of a whole bunch of different styles of things. So I'm using the color Burnt Sienna just to give them a light wash. I'm not going a solid color with these, but uh, it looks really nice with some of the wood grain coming through. And then for those sort of larger leaves that have more of a cutout, I'm going to be using the green again. But this time I'm going to just wash it down a little bit with some water. When you use water with any type of acrylic paint, you get more of a stain look. So that gives you the ability to create a stain in any color you want. They traced out one of the hearts onto this scrapbook paper. And now with my pencil, I'm just retracing the line, but I'm going in about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. And that's what I'm going to be cutting out and then gluing onto my white hearts. 
For each of the tags, I'm going to be writing the word pumpkin on one and spice on the other. And I'm just using a Sharpie marker here. It's in a dark green and I'm just freehanding some capital letters and I'm just going to add those little dots to make it look a little bit more fun. To add a little bit more dimension on the tag, on the spice one, I'm just doing some dots around the edge. And for the pumpkin one, I'm going to do some dashes. To attach the cardstock to the heart, I'm just using a glue stick. It doesn't matter what kind. You could also use some hot glue if you wanted to, but I wanted this to lay nice and flat. So I'm just going to be pressing it down with my finger, and then I'll do the same for the second heart. Using the Magic Fly hot glue gun again, I'm going to add a little dab to each of the leaves and I'll place those on the top of the hearts, kind of just however you want. I have the green one in the center here on this one and then the two brown ones will be at the top and then I'll do something a little bit different for the other one. Now that the paint is all dry, I'm just taking an emery board and I'm going really roughly around the edge to bring back some of that brown from the MDF product underneath. I think this just makes it look a little bit more rustic and I love how it turned out. I had some scrap wood out in my backyard and I painted them with the orange of the Magic Fly acrylic paint. And I literally just gave them one coat and you can see the color is just really nice and bright on here. I'm adding a pumpkin stem, which is just part of a bush that I had in my backyard as well. And I love that it curves like that. I think it's so neat. What I'm going to do now is just add some greenery and some of these little white dogwood flowers. And then I'll add the tag on top of the pumpkin. And that's just a really simple way to create a nice decor piece for your front porch or for in the house, wherever you'd like to display it. I love working with wood, so this was a perfect project for the fall for me. And I know you've probably seen lots of wood chunky pumpkins out there on YouTube, but I wanted to show you my take on them using the Magic Fly orange acrylic paint. I really enjoy using birdhouses in my projects for every season. So I have this ceramic one that I got at my local dollar store and it has the blue on it, which I think is pretty, but I want to do something a little bit more rustic with it. I'm going to use the Magic Fly color in Burnt Sienna and I'm going to start by giving it one coat just to see what the coverage is like. Now with this being more of a shiny ceramic surface, I did find that it left a lot of brush strokes, but as soon as I put the second coat on, it was perfect. I'm really impressed by the quality of these paints and how deep and rich these colors are. Now, for sure, the lighter colors, you would need to do two or three coats, but it says right on the box that these acrylic paints are really meant for canvas. I don't do a lot of painting on canvas, but if you're an artist and you enjoy doing some painting on canvas or wood, then I definitely think that these paints would be a wonderful investment for you. Now I'm going to work on the rest of this little project. I have this fence piece that I got at a dollar store last year sometime and I haven't used it yet. It's a really nice thick wood, but it goes and cuts really easy using the miter shears. I'm going to just sand down the edges and then give them a stain using the Burnt Sienna from Magic Fly. My original idea was to distress the burnt sienna a little bit, but look what happened to the paint. On my first coat, I used a blow dryer to dry it up, and on the second coat, I let it dry on its own, and it got this beautiful crackle design. I was really excited about that. Now, I'm not sure if that was an accident or if that's what's going to happen every time you paint with these paints on ceramic. But in the future, I will definitely let you know what I find out.
I'm using a scrap wood piece here again, and I've glued down the birdhouse, and now I'm going to be gluing down the fence pieces. I'm going to put one straight in the back, and then the other one is going to be towards the front a little bit more on an angle. I'm using the Scrabble letters one more time to spell out the word home. And of course, I'm going to just stick them right onto the birdhouse. Give that a little bit more of a whimsical look. I've had this little bird in my stash. He came from a dollar store and I did give him a coat of paint with some wax on it. And that happened a long time ago. So I did not use my Magic Fly paints for this particular bird. I'm just gluing him right on top of one of the fence posts right here. And I think that's gonna look so cute. Now here comes the fun part where I take all sorts of little embellishments and just create a one of a kind project. I hope you enjoy watching me create this and I hope you get some inspiration from these fall decor ideas. I'm just gonna let the music play and let you see what I'm doing with this little birdhouse. I hope you enjoyed my Timber Tuesday fall crafts and got some inspiration to work with a little bit of wood this autumn season. Thank you to Magic Fly for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you go down to my description box and click on all the links to the products. You're going to want to check them out. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you'd hit that button. That black arrow will point you in the right direction. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.